All right, you guys. Uh, uh, some of you guys might uh, actually were watching me live when this happened. Uh, I yeah, today this earlier today I got uh, stopped by a police officer in Boise City, Oklahoma, for a bypassing the way station. Um, I have some concerns about the you know the whole nature of the way this way station is set up, and uh, I'd like to show you what uh where the problems are at and. Yeah, I'll show you that what all happened. Uh, I'm going to show you the dash cam footage first. Uh, actually, it has both uh, my front and rear uh, cameras, as well as I have a driver-facing camera to show exactly everything that's going on there. Uh, uh, and it shows it'll show a lot more than what the um, the live feed actually showed. And on top of that, I'm going to after I get through with that section there, it's uh, not too far in. Um, I'm going to show some of well, what my concerns are with this whole uh, this whole way station set up here and why uh, why things happened and why I have a problem with the way this whole uh, why it's all set up like that the way it is and why I think it's uh, I think it's uh, it was not a lawful uh, not really a lawful stop. Uh, I mean, yeah, I should have stopped into the way station. But again, I'm gonna. You're gonna see some explanations of uh, what the problems are there and why I think it was an illegal stop uh, ultimately.
I'm getting lit up, you know. Let me call. Let me, I need to call you back. I got lit up last call. I thought I was coming up. I was saw uh, two miles away. Big green and white sign and a bunch of trucks with a scale house. I guess if you just slow down and oh, that was the scale house. Yeah, you just skipped it. Drive by the registration building. You have to license. Yeah, I knew it was coming up, but I saw it was open. I had no idea that, that was the way station, though. I'm sorry. Big green and white sign. I don't know how you missed it. Yeah, it's probably because the truck's coming off of 287. Again, there was one right by where, just right there. There's nothing that you're missing. You can see the same exact sign if you look back. It's big green and white says commercial vehicles entrance. I don't know what to tell you on that. Registration. Oh. All right, sit down. And get there. Oh, I need it. Okay, I thought you meant insurance. Okay, now you've seen the footage of um, you know the yeah, everything where the from the where the where first way sign of a way station is to uh, where I get stopped by the officer. Um, now let's talk about where the discrepancies are at with uh, you know with not just you know, you know of course not you know, I obviously there's a problem on my end where I missed the way station. Yeah, but there are some uh, mitigating circumstance or uh, uh, extenuating circumstances, whatever you want to call it. That I think should be factored into this. Why uh, and why I think Boise City or State of Oklahoma or whoever's responsible for these roads have uh, have just as much responsibility on this for uh, for this happening. And that's why I think I should not be held responsible uh, financially. Uh, you know, via a fine for it. Uh, I was told that I was uh, like I said that John Christopher Trucking will end up having to pay for it, but uh, trust me. JCT will will take it out of my settlement once you know, after that, and I shouldn't have to pay a hundred fifty dollar fine for this. At, at least that's my opinion. So uh, just keep watching here. I'm gonna go ahead and go back through the video footage and then show you where the discrepancies are and why I think we have some problems here, uh, Boise City. Okay, so I'm gonna start this off with uh, the, of course, the obvious observation that I was aware of the way station and it was open. And you're going to hear it here in a second. Now, I'm on the phone with a friend of mine who's also a trucker. And Okay, got a way station coming up and it's open. I said that on the phone with my friend. So I recognize that. Now, here's the problem. 
Let me move forward to this, uh, the sign, this first, uh, the only sign that I saw so far. Way station two miles, open. Okay, it's a green and white sign. That's important information. I'm gonna explain why that's important detail later on. Now let's move on now, let's, uh, okay. Let's look for any other signs uh, that, that give me any kind of clue where the way station is let alone that it's even mandatory for me to enter the way station. Okay, I still, I've not seen any signs yet that, uh, I mean, now I'm, I'm coming up on not quite to, uh, just about to Highway 287 pretty soon here. No signs yet. And let me fast forward a little bit. Okay. Okay, that's a 65 limit sign right there. All right, 287, highway 65, I mean, uh, 65 mile an hour sign. All right, I don't see any signs over on the left side of the road telling me about way station at all. Okay, now you have a blue and white information, that's services, travel services sign. These signs, all, all these colors have a, a specific meanings to them. Green and white is informational in nature. It's not mandatory information. It, they don't, yeah, mandatory instructions are not given on green and white signs. They're given on white and black signs. Where do you see white and black sign? Right there is a speed limit. That's a white and black sign. So by law, I'm required to follow that sign or obey what that sign says. Okay, here's more, okay. This is a informational sign though. It says it's a US highway I'm coming up on here. Okay, another highway sign there for 287 going southbound. Bridge ice is before road in yellow. Highway 64, 56, 412, and three. Okay, no signs coming up yet. Okay, now looking ahead, I see these trucks coming off the off of 280, 287 or whatever that road is there, and they go across my path. Now, okay, I see another speed limit sign I just passed. Uh, I think it's a 55 sign, uh, regard, uh, which is not really irrelevant. But now I see these trucks coming off the the road, and I also know that the, I I looking ahead, I see that the left is on the left side of the road, so. What do you think that I'm thinking when I see trucks going over, straight over to the left lane and they're coming off of 287? Why, I mean, why would they even go uh, past the loves if, you know, if they're going to go on 380, on Highway 385, they wouldn't even need to be on this part. They would have turned off before they even got to this exit, more than likely. So, all right, so next, here's, this is a mandatory sign, Jake Brakes Prohibited. That's all it says there. So that's what mandatory signs look like. They're white and black. Okay, advertisement signs here. Nothing there of interest to us. Okay, now I'm passing this truck. I'm still in a 55 zone. And I'm coming up on a 45 zone here. And so I'm starting to slow down for that. And I don't see any signs here yet. And apparently this is a way station. This guy here apparently is turning it into the way station, but where are the signs telling me that that's the way station? There aren't any. There, I, and there was nothing uh, giving me any kind of advance warning what lane I need to be in or which, or which direction I need to turn to get to the way station. All I know, I could be needing to turn in on the right side of the road. Like I said, I've never been through here before except for one time and I wasn't even up front driving when that happened. Yeah. Uh, I know that there was a way station there, obviously, because of the sign, but it's, yeah, it, to me, it's reasonable to expect the, the, uh, the, the jurisdiction in charge of this to have signs posted directly in where the way station is at. The way station next right, way station next left. Where do you see that? There aren't any. Okay, moving on here. Now, I'm looking ahead. Okay, again, I don't know why this guy is over in the left lane. I don't know where he's trying to turn into. I don't, I, 
for all I know, that could be some truck lot or whatever. I mean, I know that the Loves was up here, and I thought maybe he was originally going to go there, but turned somewhere else. In hindsight, now I know it's a way station he's turning into, but there's nothing there telling me that that's a way station. Okay, now, here's the first clue, uh, first pro sign of a problem here. Here's the way station sign, way up here. At this distance, do you think I can read it yet? And next, I see the cop sitting there right below it in the parking lot. What's that, uh, you know, when I see someone facing out toward the road like that, that's a that's a safety problem for me, or that's a safety concern for me. It's not a problem, but when I see someone in a position where they might pull out onto the street in front of me, I'm gonna watch their. I'm gonna be watching their moves a lot to uh, make sure there aren't any safety concerns there. So I'm fixated on him. I don't even realize that the sign is right above him because I'm busy watching him and looking for the speed limit signs because I know I'm getting into a town. I know the speed limit's probably gonna drop. And I remember, I think I did see a 35 sign up here yeah, that I was starting to slow down for. Yeah, you know, see, I'm, uh, you can see down here, I'm starting to come down to, to speed. Now, by the time I even get to this sign, way station commercial vehicle entrance, it's a green and white sign. Did you also notice how the officer mentioned it was a green and white sign? Okay, so that's important information again here. All right, so I'm doing 43 miles an hour, and apparently I'm supposed to turn right there into that lot. Meanwhile, I have to make an unsafe lane change and hard brake to have any chance of doing that. You know, because how far down the road do I need to be to, to realize that? I don't know, but, yeah, you know, and, and this guy's real close to my back end, and... Yeah, I mean, now he is in a left turn lane, but it, again, there's a lot going on here I'm trying to pay attention to for safety reasons, too. And I say, I don't, I can't tell what's, uh, uh, I can't necessarily read that sign until I'm close enough. And now it's like, it, I'm doing 45 miles an hour. I need time to be able to slow down and prepare for that turn. This is not preparing me enough right there when it's only 100 feet away from the, uh, when it's only 100 feet away from the, if even that, from the turn. I can't stop my truck in that amount of time. So even if I did see that sign, I was still not gonna go trying to cut across and uh, risk rolling my truck or causing another accident to get into there because of what's going on here. So, we, you know, my opinion, there are, we have a lot of problems here, and there need to be white and black signs. There are no white and black signs anywhere saying it's mandatory for trucks to enter that way station. So, and without white and black signs saying it's mandatory, then, you know, to me, it should mean that there's no, uh, no legal requirement for me to even enter the way station, let alone the fact that I, uh, that I missed it. So... Yeah, and uh, green and white. Now let's move on here to the, the vehicle, uh, the driver's manual. Okay, Oklahoma.gov or OK.gov. It's the driver's manual right on the OK uh, driver's website or uh, OK.gov website. Black and white signs, regulations and instructions. Those are what tell me what I must or must not do. Regulatory. Green signs are informational signs, they're guides. Those don't tell me that I am required to do this or that. It just means that if what I'm trying to do, I need, you know, so if you come down here, let's come here, where are these white and black regulatory signs? They direct and control or regulate traffic. Or what you must, you know, regulatory signs tell you what you must do and what you must not do. They direct and control or regulate traffic for everyone's safety. You are required to obey them just like other traffic laws. All right, so the rest of this is all uh, insignificant information here. Now, if you come down here to the green and white signs, guide signs, green, white, or brown. Guide signs give you travel information. They identify highways, show distances, mark exits, points to park, or point to parks and recreation areas, and more indicates and okay so 
they're using uh, green interstate signs right now. So not, none of this is really uh, relevant right here. But this, my point here is green and white signs is all that are even present on this highway, uh, on this um, in this area here. And these are travel information. There, where does it say that it's mandatory for me to follow these green and white signs? There isn't anything on there. It's the white and black signs where it's mandatory. Again, the white and black signs are missing. There's an, and there's nothing giving me some, any kind of advance uh, pre uh, warning so I can prepare and be in the correct lane and prepare to look in the, and uh, turn in the right direction before I even get to the uh, way station. So this is, these are what my big, uh, big concerns are with this. Now let's look at maybe get a little bit of an idea at how, how much distance there really is between the green and white sign and the, the driveway. Get over here to Boise City. Okay, right over here, way, way station, Cimarron County. All right, let's find out where the sign is, if we can. Okay. Looks like there's only one driveway here, and so where, I don't know where that truck was turning. There's like a left turn lane there, but where I'm seeing the driveway, right where the sign is, it's over here, I think, and so that's a new driveway, and the sign is right here. So apparently this is new. So I, I didn't even know that, because there was no left turn lane there where I saw the sign. It was this uh, divider thing here. I'm just coming back over here to the, the footage, and you'll see right here, there's a sign that it's not a left turn lane. It's the delineator between the uh, between the uh, eastbound and westbound lanes. So evidently there's a new driveway right over in here and a sign is posted over here somewhere. Okay, so if I'm, if these other trucks entered from right here, to me it tells me why, I mean, it makes me wonder why are there not signs posted back over here somewhere telling me that one I need to turn left two that it's right here it's coming up uh, at this first uh, this first turn now it's so easy to miss this yeah and I and I was already past this driveway by the time I'm even at the sign telling me that the way station's right here so again we have some serious problems here with the way this is set up and we have some serious problems with uh, the signage and how they're improperly uh, being uh, or being proper, improperly being ordered to uh, or uh, required by law to enter a way station when there aren't any signs specifically telling us that we have to enter the way station. You can go to any other state, any other way station, and uh, you know I don't know of any other way station out there in the U.S. where there are not signs saying all trucks must enter at open scales. All right, so. That's my uh, that's my concern with this. I think this needs to be squashed. I don't think that anybody should be paying fines. And yeah, I hate to say this, but uh, now that you guys are gonna put me through this, I'll just say heck with it. Next time I'm if I have to come through here again uh, along that route, I'll just come over. I mean, if I'm coming along 412, I'll just come up 287 instead and get on to 385 South and come through town through there. Well then, I probably I don't yeah, and, and I don't think I'll end up having to go through a way station anyway, because the way station's over here. What's the point of this way station if it's over here? You know, if, if what about southbound 287 traffic cutting onto 385 or 412 West? Yeah, you know, they don't have to go through the way station, do they? So, yeah, I mean, just there's some problems with this entire setup here, and I think they're uh, now I, I am going to take some responsibility and knowing that I you know. I, Maybe I uh, there's a lesson learned here. I could have been going a little slower, and uh, be um, have a uh, also uh, 
maybe reset my trip meter when I got to that way station sign so I know exactly where two miles is to get some kind of an idea. But again, there are problems here. I'm going to speed limit, and actually even less than the speed limit in the spot. And yeah, you know, and there's these other all these other details, they complicate the problem. And yeah, you know, this needs to be fixed, and it's not in my end that needs to be fixed. It's the Boise City end that needs to be fixed, or whoever handles that. All right, that's all. Thanks.